is a very, very, very significant snake of Sri Lanka. This snake has created more folklore in Sri Lanka than any other snake that I've heard so many, uh, what do you call, old wives' tales over. This is the very elusive cat snake. Sri Lanka has a, quite a few species of cat snakes, but those, the, the cat snakes that I won't talk about have not been uh, very significant because of its size. This is the largest species of boiga in Sri Lanka. This is also known as the Postine cat snake. This snake can attain a length of close to six to seven feet. There are two color variations of this cat snake in Sri Lanka. Uh, the first color variation is known as the, uh, in Sinhalese, it's known as the Lema Pila, okay, or the uh, Crimson cat snake. And the other one is known as the Nagama Pila. That is the black and white uh, uh, speckled variation that they'll show you, the other one. This snake has been so significant and the folklore of this snake has been so significant that when I first came to Sri Lanka about eight years ago, I heard about Sanat from Yala that he had the largest species of uh, Lema Pila. And when I came here, I was able to be educated from Sanat about this particular snake. Apparently this snake, uh, they say, uh, lives in groups of seven. That's because that is the normal nature of these snakes. These snakes normally live in groups. They're normally found in hollows of trees. They are strictly arboreal and they are also nocturnal. If you can see the large pupils of the snake, it's very large and that's because that is the uh, characteristics of this particular snake. And uh, also this particular snake is a rear fang snake which we known as not a true venom gland but is the Dovanois gland. So basically the venom ducts are in the back of this snake right here in the posteriorly groove and when it does bite onto its prey it has a chewing motion and where it uh, the venom secretes from the posterior grooves of this snake. The snake has not caused any serious uh, emergencies in Sri Lanka however Due to the large nature of this snake and its large mouth capacity, this snake should be handled with care. Uh, let me just show you the arboreal characteristics of this snake. This snake will rapidly take to the tree. It will basically find its way, right? It will uh, scale up a tree with the ease. It's also found in caves where it goes in search of bats and swallows. And um, it, is, it kills its prey by constriction and by immobilizing it with its, with, with its venom. Clay <laughs> <laughs>